and welcome back to Hat Films Plays Golf with your friends. <laughs> wow. Yes. Thank you for that. We are here to knock some balls and some holes, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to win. I'm going to win. going to knock some balls and hole, holes. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, what does it look like over there? I didn't press C. Oh, he's, rolling, he's falling off. Classic. Just a little trickle, trickle roll. I oh. think that could have been a whole one. This is just called park putting. And it's going to be very cute. Simple. Very simple idea. Hey, Ross, Sometimes can you turn on your cam, is. please? That would be great. Yeah, probably. Thank you very much. It's actually worth a tenner. There we go. Nice little start there. Wonderful. We're knocking the balls into the hole. You've seen Just this another before. day, another... You, Golf. You, it's another day where... Oh, you've got a balloon trail. Isn't you that like right? That is remarkable. That's novel. That is unbelievable. Where did you get that? Is oh! That oh, is that premium? No, that's not premium. That I unlocked pass? it. Does golf with your friends have a battle pass? Yeah, and it's very invasive. Is it? You can't progress. I'm basically bankrupt. Oh, but my no. god, I got those birthday balloon trails. You did. How, oh, how many hours? I'm loving game purchases. And the thing is, you justified it by like being so ecstatic about seeing them. Yeah. So now we're probably going to get more. Yeah. No, there's no pay to win in this. It's just DLC in it, which it's I free. actually refunded because the one of them got was such really bad, bad reviews, right? <laughs> yeah, the one where they're like, "Can't believe we played much was it. it." I can't remember. Well, it's only like a couple quid, but, Ooh, but at the same yeah. time, people are making better stuff on the workshop. That's fair enough. Don't give them money. Don't reward them for for dog shit. I do the same in restaurants. You take the take the tip away. What you say? I don't want this dog shit. I didn't want dog shit. I, I wanted here food. For food. I came here. For what is food. with this town? An actual turd on my plate. I don't want this. What is with this town and serving dog shit as food? Man, I'm just nailing birdies right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Two, two, three. Oh my goodness. Stop two, nailing these birdies. Saw a bird getting eaten by wasps yesterday. Oh my what, god. Like, out and about. Yeah, out and about, mate. Where were you that you saw this? Um, just on a cycle path. Just out of place. Um, out it place. had a garden. A place with a garden. Ooh, it was like a public garden. Yeah? Mm. You know public gardens, right? What kind yeah. of bird was it? It was a blackbird. Or at least it looked like a bit of a blackbird. Oh, it was getting gross. picked over by wasps. Didn't know they did that, but now I do. Wasps are fucking horrible, aren't they? They're a bit annoying. Least One of the least favorite bugs. Right there right next to um, mosquitoes. Oh, mosquitoes. What would you annoying. say is your favourite bug? My favourite bug? Yeah. Um, There's a lot of good bugs. There are a lot of good bugs. Like uh, those little kind of like hard-shelled beetles that kind of like very slowly... The pearlescent walk. ones. Yeah, what, uh, really a little bit of chroma, yeah. chroma wrap on them. They look quite cool. Yeah. Ladybirds are right. Yeah. Ladybugs, some people call them. Yeah. Um, I hate that they call botflies them. Ladybirds cute. Are botfly, nice. like a botfly? No, no, no. No one likes botflies. Well. That's a bit of something for us. Apart from botflies, mums. No, I don't even think their mums like them. That's a face not even a botfly's a mum could insects love. Insects that I think just their mums hate them as well. What Bot about flies. classic ladybug? You can't hate a ladybug. That's you can't hate ladybug because they, they look nice, don't they? Yeah, ladybird, ladybug. I want to say bird, even yeah. though they're not birds and they are bugs. What about daddy long legs? No, no creepy no, weird long legs. Are pretty gross. But no, dragonfly's pretty cool. Oh, aren't they? It depends. I think it's, it's more of a case of which ones we, are you happy to crush. I and which ones are you mm. more like kind of like oh well, actually smash get, I'll actually get a bit of I only, pass on smash, I only smash the really obnoxious ones that keep getting in my face that's the yeah. only ones that I would oh shit I've just flown off the map um yeah, oh look at that one. another birdie but daddy long legs because they're just flitty and annoying and they kind of like get in the way I'm quite fine with just crushing it to death or right. using mm. my tennis racket electric thing which do you always Very have that quick. to hand? It's in. It's, he carries around it's like nearby. a lightsaber. It's nearby enough. You've got I a can use holster. It, yeah. um, moths are harmless. Moths are annoying as fuck. Oh, I had a moth infestation in one of my cupboards. Oh shit! What? Like not a wardrobe? No, no, in my like kitchen, a, which is yeah, worse. Yeah, there are different types. Of, yeah, because there's ones which will eat your there's clothes. Little and there's little ones which will go through your flour and shit. Yeah. It's they burrowed into one of my thing, like behind. Do you get the larvae as well then? Yeah, yeah, they all oh, crawl around those the little ceiling. bastards. I've seen this before. Oh, that's so disgusting. Little kind of so wriggling not, worms. Me and moths aren't on the best of terms right now. Uh, moths can go fucking suck a dick. 
Moths I have a lot less problem with, to be honest. I think moths are pretty cool. They're kind of like gothic cool. butterflies. The big ones or just like the little tiny fuckers? Because those tiny fuckers are annoying. Those cupboard ones yeah, are annoying. Yeah, the little ones are annoying. The big right. ones are cool. Yeah. And then they, and it's not just that. because The it, big the, fluffy ones. They'll lay their eggs anywhere and you, you'll then see those little kind of worm things. Oh, I had them in my last flat. It was awful. I hated it. Yeah, the little worms. Like finding worms and anything is a grim, grim experience. Yeah. Yeah, shame Putrid. I got aroused. Yeah. You got aroused? Yeah. What, from the worms? Huh? What do you mean, what? You saw them and you became it aroused? It reminded him of his own penis. God. What the fuck? Because nice. they've, they've, they've got this little kind of like brown head that kind of peeks out. Have you seen that? It's gross. I spent I, some time I, inspecting it. it was... I didn't want to, to get that close, oh. frankly. Where did you find them, Ross? It was um, in his underwear. In my last flat, <laughs> they, there was a couple of these little wiggling ones in the carpet. Right. And they feed off of like hair and fibers and stuff. Right. Natural fibers. I was like, what the hell is this thing? And I was like, oh, it looks like a, maybe it's a maggot. It wasn't a maggot. And then I saw its little kind of head peek out of the edge of this little, what looked like a kind of like a roll of tissue paper almost. And they right. eat tissue paper as well. And it freaked the hell out of me. So I collected all the ones I could see, put them in a little box and then When did you get aroused though? Them. Almost immediately. You where they were. Almost immediately. Yeah. No, I looked up, I had to look up. I was like, oh, I'll Google what these are. And what did they say? Well, it said that they were like uh, moth larvae. You've got to be careful because they could turn into Mothra, which is the big city-destroying yeah. super monster. So one in ten was that what you worried about? Was that what aroused you? Do you think? I was worried there was too many of them and they could all combine together to make a Mothra in my kitchen. Yeah, they were going after the rice and shit. It was annoying. Yeah. I had to wipe everything down, throw things out. You have to, yeah, you have to do a full, full cleanse. It was awful. Oh, shit! I've over -gunned. Oh, man. Yeah, they were disgusting. I, I didn't like, so I don't like those. I'm happy to get rid of those. Are we putting them in room 101 or eating them? What are we doing? Fucking them? You fuck them. I tried, but it's really you small. You can't. I tell you, they're too small. You're better off putting them down if you're going to put them oh. anyway. <laughs> God. I'm, I'm sure they'd go down. They would. Weird little bastards. Oh, they're so disgusting. They are gross. And they're just all on my ceiling and shit. And you think you got rid of them all and another one appears. Oh, I hate them. God, just talking about them just fills me with rage. Yeah, let's talk about someone else now. What are the bugs though? Because like there are cute bugs as well. Um, would you? What about millipedes? You would? Would you like a millipede all over you? No. In your face? Really in your gross. face? Millipedes in, like, are in your really mouth? Grim. And they can bite as well. Millipedes. Anything that bites, yeah, can suck one. I don't know. Oh, oh my God! Big spiders. I got He's so right on the edge. Close. What about hunts and spiders? Do you have one of those in your bed? I, not in my bed. Well, you've got to be comfortable with it in your bed. Spiders. Otherwise, you're not happy with it. Give it a cute little spider sized pillow. So if Tiny you had duvet. spiders, you wouldn't get moth larvae. This is why you want a spider in the corner of your room, keep an eye on shit. That spider right, would get okay. destroyed by my cat. A spider. Well, not if it's like right There's up the a pecking order in my house. No spiders. Spiders won't live. Though Ripley is incredible at getting insects. Yeah. That is a big plus of having a cat. They're just always killers, trying it? to hunt insects and she eat them. Do you ever them. bring in dead birds or anything like that? No, she doesn't go outside. Oh, of course. So she's locked inside, inside. House cat. Well, you say locked in. It's a trapped prison cat. <laughs> yeah, I guess in a, in a way, yeah. I mean, don't let it out now. It's too late. Eagle. I'm not allowed to let cats out. Uh, where I live, oh, shit, too close to a big easy. fucking road where loads of cats exactly. die. Yeah, you don't want that. I would worry about it all the time, just being hit by something. Oh, I'm really messing up. This is one under par. That's all. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Wonder par. Wonder par. Oh, you are messing up. Yes, Chris. Yeah. So do you think you could do like one of those bush tucker trial things? Or eat bugs. Where they just like pour bugs and you what about rats? Oh, you like man. rats? They've done that before where they like they're, they're the head in like a rats. glass like perspex yeah. case and they just start putting a load of fucking things in and they just you pour just them. You have on to deal with rat poop, really. That's the only problem. Rats would be so much better than like the grim giant insects they put in those yeah. things. Like you know when the guy was getting like rats cockroaches running up his nostril? Like they yeah. got, they got oh, oh shit. God, fuck that. Yeah, because they could fucking burrow. Oh, it, rats rats really would just cute chill out around you. And they could be quite nice. They'd probably get frustrated that you're there and that they're in this enclosure with you and probably scratch you a little bit but I mean fair enough but I don't want insects going in my orifices or if I or if it's I how many rats do you think you could fight at once I don't want to fight any rats no, no but you have to why what's the situation where I'm fighting rats well there's 15 rats 
and it's either you or them. Um, go. Yes. You think you could? You said how many? 15, you you, you, you gave me the number 15. Yeah, I think, I, think could, you could do yeah, I could. Yeah, I could kick 15. Kick them. They're all fucking like jumping up at you and scrabbling at you. All right, haymakers. Fuck whirlwind. Up. I'm whirlwinding now. Whatever. They're going down. Did you do what those little terriers do where they grab them by the back and start just shaking them violently until they're dead? That seems good. Can you picture me doing that? Yes. Yeah. On, yeah. All, on all fours, <laughs> grabbing them by your mouth <laughs> and shaking them vigorously. Yeah. Yes, I can picture that perfectly. Yeah, I said, That's ten down Spook by us. the terrier shake method. <laughs> Five I to go. I can picture you having a great time. Blood all over your face, smiling. Coming out of it like, I wish I was born a terrier. He's just like, this is amazing. I want to do it again. Any Get more? more rats, more rats. More! This guy is insatiable. He loves rats. He's a rat killer. More rats for the rat god. I'm the vermin God. tide. The more I think about it, the more disgusted I am when you try it. I can't believe you. Yeah, I'm pretty fucked up. It's like one of those dreams <laughs> that people have and they think it's real. Ah. Yeah. Like a picture is so viscerally. Oh my God, have I got that in? Oh, birdie! Tweet, tweet, motherfucker! Sorry, X, X, motherfucker! Not everything is related to bird and therefore X. Yeah, I know it is now. We're all in the exact same score, by the way. X. We are level pegging. That's incredible. Make a wish. What celebrity do you want to snuff it? What? You want me to start saying I want dead? Yeah. Well, who's done the worst things? The lead singer of the Lost Prophets. Well, sure. That was actually quite a celebration when he got stabbed up in prison. He's apparently fine, though, apparently. Oh. Wow. But I think it's probably wrong to wish anyone to die, really. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Buddy. But there are some which deserve it more than others. If they were to have an unfortunate accident, mm. that would be a shame. You don't have to feel bad. But I wouldn't about feel bad. Necessarily, yeah. You know, there's people who've done terrible atrocities. I don't know. People, some people do stuff and they're incompatible with society, I reckon. You're yeah. And your rights just to execute them. Oh, shit. I watched. Um, Sorry? Uh, I watched I've changed my mind about the capital, capital punishment. <laughs> In situations like that, oh, like that particular who's, one. Yeah, 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 who's course. on your list? Who's on my list for what? So, capital punishment. Yeah. You can give a list to the government. <laughs> five names. Oh God! You've got a, no, I mean, a, that's, death, a death list. That's I'll, I'll keep you anonymous. Don't worry. Yeah. You can send it in secretly. <clears throat> I think no, but death is sometimes an easy. But who would it be, Alex? Yeah, yeah it's it? too. It's too good like, for people sometimes. And yeah. It's just like well, you just like surely the the pain of having to be just suffer, I guess, in existence yeah. is probably um, a good what punishment. Are, what right? was it where um, when they did executions, they brought. Um, the members of the public in and they were just given a variety of buttons and they didn't know which <laughs> button execute the person. Oh, really? Was well, that just so they... So it removed the... Oh, right, guilt of killing someone. What was that? Uh, well, they used to do that was in Was it a game squads. show or was it firing. just uh, it was a an actual firing thing? thing? They used to do it in firing squads where they had blank nobody knew guns. who had the actual bullets in their guns and they all fired at once. But, yeah. like, you know, I mean, it's an interesting question because, like, you know, oh, it, we, we say there are people out there, and I think there are probably. I feel like you, sh you would share the guilt, right? Yeah, you, there. yeah, you would. Exactly. And, and, like, you're always asking somebody to do that. And you're, you're going to turn people into psycho. Like, killing psychos because you want them out of your society creates more psychos oh. because those people, like, have to kill people, you know? Mm. Unless you put me near a rat, and then that rat's fucking dead. Yeah. I'm already a psycho for killing rats. Uh, I watched a really interesting um, documentary about the Vietnam. War, cool, <laughs> heavy. Just, it was it was fucking heavy. I, yeah, I've, I've only watched half of it so far. Which, the Winter Soldier, which isn't the fucking Marvel. Doesn't have thing. the arm. It's not the Marvel bridge thing. tuna. Yeah. But it's basically just a load of um stories from these these guys who lived through it and witnessed and obviously took part in like burning down villages and stuff. And oh, it's so brutal! Like the fucking horrible shit they did because they were brainwashed before they went. Mm to dehumanize these people yep and yeah i'm not even gonna repeat anything of the things they did but like if you watch it that documentary you're interested in that kind of thing it's it's intriguing to know the horrors of what happened there and also just how pointless that war was as well that's just even more how would i find it so, so i go to like the feel good category on netflix yeah feel good category yeah. um teen dramas yeah teen dramas <laughs> cheer up content <laughs> <laughs> no i was just was quite interested in the, in the horrors of war sometimes you know just what people are capable of doing. How do you it's think brutal. that's affected you? Terribly, Trump. It's just, just terribly. Well, who would you think you'd be nowadays if you didn't have access to the internet? What do you mean? What, 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 what do you think it's up? I have empathy, Trump. These people didn't... Some of these people just yeah, smiling while they were talking about Do you think it's changed your outlook stories. on life? 
what hearing about this stuff yeah or learning about it or like do you think it's changed to i think just, just burying my head in the sand is the worst thing you can do being aware of these things means you can make a change i'm not gonna what are you gonna do personally but like as in like people in power could make a change it's good to know that the, yeah the gravitas I mean, like, of in, what like, if the you decisions don't, uh, if, you, if, if this shit just happened in another country you didn't know what was going on like you couldn't f- protest against it for example or like you know are you gonna hit the streets for vietnam it's a bit late ross oh yeah no it's a bit late it's a bit late now but like hearing these stories is just fucking horrible it's good god to, knows what's going the truth on, needs to come Ukraine, out which makes you wonder like yeah oh Troy, you got a tour as well Holy shit oh god damn god it. that was the closest game we've had in a while yeah, it, it was. Really was holy shit god damn they're all basically the same level of crap i was the worst level of crap though so it certainly I guess I congratulations to ross cock sandwich nom 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 <laughs> Thank you very much for watching us today. I hope you've had a great time with us talking about all these wonderful topics. Oh, the, yeah, it's all good. Insects. What's your yeah. favorite insect? Let What's us the know. best insect you like the most? Let us know. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.